And in the midst of all the signings, we have some big trades as well. The San Jose Sharks and Carolina Hurricanes have made themselves a trade, with the Carolina Hurricanes taking on a pretty huge contract at only 66% of its total payout. They're doing this because they want to replace Tony D'Angelo, who inevitably got picked up by the Philadelphia Flyers, and they're doing that with Brent Burns. Take a look at the trade here, as announced by Pierre Lebrun about 20 minutes ago. Brent Burns and Lane Peterson have been traded to the Carolina Hurricanes for Steven Lorenz, goalie prospect Itu Makanyemi, and a conditional third-round pick. The Sharks are retaining 33% of Burns' contract. Now, you take a look at all the assets involved. Brent Burns, what is he? Overpaid? Yes. Expensive? Yes. Old? Yes. 37 years old, but 6'5", 229 is a right-handed defenseman, signed till 2025 at $8 million a season. Do the math, okay, what's 66% of 8? And yeah, my mental math absolutely sucks, so, uh, yeah, no, okay. It's a pretty cheap amount of money that he's actually gonna be sticking around there for. at $6 million, something like that? And he is indeed going over to Carolina after posting up a season where he had 54 points in 82 games played. Burns, even though he has always been a little bit older, even though he has always been a little bit more expensive, he is still good, and he is going to be going over to a Carolina blue line that now has a right side defense spot primed open for him for the taking. And now... I mean, you take a look at all the assets that are also going over. Lane Peterson is a depth forward that is good at the AHL level that's getting sent over to Carolina as well. Steven Lorenz is a depth Carolina player that is getting sent over to San Jose. So you could say that he's pretty comparable to the value, I guess, that Peterson has. Itu Makanyemi is going over to San Jose, and I guess you could say, okay, San Jose has had a pretty good body of success with goaltenders from Finland in the past. Obviously, Antti Niemi comes to mind, but... E2 right here is indeed a prospect drafted back in 2017. He is still over um, in his transition, excuse me, because he was in the Finnish Liga as recently as last season. He had a pretty good season with the AHL Chicago Wolves this previous year, though, a 9-2-2 save percentage at a 206 GAA in 14 games. And then, of course, you have the conditional third and the retained salary as well. From a value-to-value -value perspective in terms of the assets that are getting swapped, the Carolina Hurricanes won tenfold. They get themselves a really good defenseman. They get themselves a pretty capable guy that fits a need on their right side blue line, although he is pretty expensive. Now, we did note that there is salary retained, which makes it a lot easier to stomach, but when you consider the fact that they gave up a goaltending prospect as well as a depth forward and a conditional third, I'm pretty sure the Carolina Hurricanes are laughing at this deal. The San Jose Sharks, you guys are just happy to be getting rid of the contract right here. So at the end of the day, I mean, this trade benefits both parties, but if I had to pick a clear winner, I'd say Carolina just because they're getting themselves such a magnificent hockey player right here. And when it comes to what the Chicago, or not Chicago Wolves, I was thinking about the AHL team for Mac and Yemi right here. When it comes to what the San Jose Sharks are getting out of this, you're just getting the entire contract removed, plus a little bit extra on top of that, or excuse me, not the entire contract removed, you're getting a portion of that contract removed. So, talk in the comments all your thoughts about this trade acquisition over here. Excuse me, I'm doing the mental math on the side here. 0.66 of 8 is $5.28 million. So, Brent Burns is actually going to be sticking around in Carolina, and they're going to be paying him 66% of that salary, which is 5.28 instead of that 6. So, yeah, no, I think that's a really good contract then for a player that is signed for the amount of time that he is and is as good as he is as well. 5.28 for Brent Burns? Man, that actually sounds a lot better than 8, doesn't it? So, talk in the comments on your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.